Hi there, this is Gordon from CheapRecipes.info uh, and today we're going to make a lovely chicken dish in coconut milk uh, with rice and broccoli and what, what I've got in front of me here are my broccoli on the left of course I've got two mugs full of rice I've got chicken stock I've got one can of coconut milk, I've got a, an onion, a couple of cloves of garlic, I've got some of my cheap bacon there which I'm going to use for more flavour and I've got two complete chicken breasts. Okay this is my uh, cheap cooking bacon which I'm going to slice into piece, small pieces. if you've got a lot of fat in there just get rid of it cut it out there's not too much in here but when you consider you're getting half a kilo for 70 pence you can't really complain okay that's my bacon hold that for a minute Let's start the chicken. Again, we're just going to cube it. And I'll trim off those bits in a second. As we okay, I've got my uh, broccoli steaming away there quite nicely. I like to cook my vegetables like that. I've got the onion and garlic with a little bit of oil in the pan and um, now we can start cooking so I'm just going to sweat down the onions a bit Let's give them a mix around so they pick up a little bit of oil stop them sticking and though all we're going to do here is just sweat them we're not going to make them go brown or crispy or anything like that we just want to sweat them with a bit of heat so they go clear uh, we've got our garlic in there as well and they're starting to heat up now give them a mix around that's fine Let's keep an eye on these just to make sure that they don't get burnt some dishes you can uh, caramelize your onion a bit just to give that that burnt onion flavor which is not bad it's quite nice but I've got to be careful here because my garlic is quite small and um, it'll it'll go brown fairly sharply okay that's that's fine that's okay we'll just put the meat in now if I can get past the camera so in goes the bacon You've often heard the expression strike the pan with some bacon. We'll put that in first. We'll give that a mix around. Here's the onion. Hope you can see it all right there. Really fine. You don't have to put the bacon in if you don't want to. But I just think it gives it that bit of extra colour and flavour. Okay, that's starting to get quite hot. We'll turn the gas down a little bit. It's about halfway. In goes the chicken. Put it all in at once. Yep. a mix. And we want to cook this chicken about two thirds of the way through and put some nice colour on that too. We'll just let that let that go for a bit. Put a bit of seasoning in, a bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, a couple of twists. Good. 
doing fine. See it's starting to turn the colour with the gas up a bit more. On this side I've got my rice cooker switched on. So while this is cooking, whichever way you cook rice, people say you can cook it in a pan, but I wouldn't bother. It's very hard to judge. It's much better if you've got a rice cooker. And basically you measure out your rice, you wash it three times to get all the starch out. If you put two mugfuls or cupfuls of rice in, you need the equivalent in water, so it's 50 50. But the rice cooker never fails, and you can go away and leave it because as soon as it's, um, the rice is ready, the rice cooker flicks itself automatically on to keep warm. So it's a set and forget process really, and you'll get perfect rice each time. But if you have to do it in the pan, you can do it. As long as you wash your rice three times and um, drain it and then put the, the equivalent amount of water. But keep an eye on it if you're cooking it in a pan. It's much more difficult. Oh, it's coming on. My chicken's getting, getting plenty of heat through it and it's um, starting to cook. Okay, you can see my chicken now is getting pretty well um, nicely coloured. I'm just going to get some water, boiling water, and I'm going to deglaze the pan. Like so. Put a drop in there. And with that rounding, pick up all the flavour around the outside edges. I want all that flavour into it. There we go. Okay. And now we're going to use my secret weapon. And this is a uh, nor chicken stock, which you get in the Chinese cash and carries. They all use it. It's so good. About a good heap spoonful of that in there. Give that a little bit of a twirl round. The chicken will pick up that stock flavour. Move this out of the way. Okay. And now, in goes the coconut uh, milk. Whole tin, straight in, no problem. Now watch that go nice, light, cream. Okay. Now we'll just bring that up to temperature a bit with a bit more heat because we've still got about five or ten minutes to go and as we heat the coconut milk it will thicken. I've got a few bits of burnt onion in there, get them up. But never mind, it will all add to the flavour. And there we have the finished dish. And doesn't that look booty delicious? It's fantastic. That'll taste so good. You've got the broccoli, you've got your chicken and coconut milk, and you've got a little rice mountain there. Fantastic. So, this is Gordon saying bye for now.